I love listening to you guys. It is the best conversation ever. And that was really, really, really black hair with some <laughs> undertone gray. Yeah. Like Pete Rose's dye couldn't get to the roots. It was, <laughs> it was like, no, we're not getting to the roots. And he had on some python boots. He was pimping. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, I, I love that they gave him a standing ovation for about 10 minutes. Uh, I just ready for him to walk, go into the Hall of Fame. I, I bet on it. <laughs> oh, give, him, give, give him a little something there. A little something. Um, I, I would love to further that conversation, so why don't we? Uh, Instead yeah. of just going on to the NBA, because when we have John Sally on, we can talk about anything. You, you have no problem with anything. him? You have no problem going with him, with him going to the Hall of Fame? Why should he not go in the Hall of Fame? You made a really good point about, about Trout, right? Yeah. Busting his butt in an all-star game to get down first. Pete Rose... When he was coming home and ran over his friend, he broke his Boston, arm. Yeah. I think he uh, messed up his spleen. He took away his manhood. And he ended his almost <laughs> his career. But that's the way Pete played the game, whether it was an all-star game or not. Every time you stepped on the, on the field, you played all out. So I think that's what I'm going to judge him on. But I'm not going to judge anybody on anything outside of outside of that. I know he wants to say, oh, it's not good, it's not cool. Man, guys gamble in cards all the time. Guys in Vegas, a lot of guys that ever played out of all their money from gambling. Um, did he throw a game? No, you can tell Pete never threw a game. But he should be in the Hall of Fame for what he did on the field. Do you, uh, you know he's not getting in. And you wouldn't have a beef with your manager betting on games – that you may be playing in or that might be going on somewhere else? Do you know what somebody does outside of you really has nothing to do with you? <laughs> so it's not like, you know, it's not like he was saying, hey, I'm going to take the guys, the last guys on the bench and the stars are not playing for the next six games because I need the money. He's not doing that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you understand? Know so when you're a professional athlete, all those guys that are professionals should have done the best they can when they had their chance to do it. Then you don't have to worry about it. Are you upset that your cousin is betting? I know everyone's saying it's not the same thing. He was the manager. But he didn't change the lineup. He didn't cause them to lose. My beef, just real talk, my beef would have been if, if I'm hustling and giving and busting my ass for this team and he's got five G's in another game and he's going to the phone to call the bookie line to hear what the score is in the Royals and uh, Astros game, I might have a problem. Maybe the Royals is a bad example because it was before that. What about, what about if you're a player and you're sitting there and all of a sudden you go out and you see a girl in the third row and then you go get the ball boy to go get the girl's phone number? You're not focused on the game 100% either. <laughs> not that it's ever happened in the game. That, ha but that happens five times a game. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't happen that in the game. Right, it happens, happens all the time. time Sally. It happens all the time. Right. Everybody thinks you should be like, this is what the crazy thing is. When they look at athletes or they look at humans that play sports, they should be robots. They're not. They're still human. All right, John, let me ask you this. What, do you, what bothers you more, uh, a player or a manager betting on a game, whether it's for or against, or a guy taking steroids to the point where his head is five times his normal size and breaking a home run record? Okay, I'm going to go back. Now, Steroids are personal use, and the only people that can't use them are professional athletes because regular humans can use steroids all the day. They give them away in Z-packs and all these packs, but if you're a professional athlete, you can't use them. It's not fair. I had an argument with, not an argument, but a heated discussion with my man Kenny Lofton. It doesn't make you better. Barry Bonds was so good that they didn't pitch the ball to him, but when they did, he hit it out of the park. I don't think the steroid did it. I think Barry being a great player did it. Not Let's go over that. Second, so if you can do whatever you want with your body. People want, want performance. They just want them to perform. I, I always had this problem with the steroid thing. And they said the reason it was in there is because tradition and because of records. What about just enjoying the moment and stop comparing people to the past or this, that? Just enjoy the game. Now, as opposed to my, a, a teammate or a manager betting on the game, I would have a problem with the teammate because he has the ball in his hand. And he has the ball in his hand, he can do things that he normally doesn't do. So that's different. When you have a manager, a manager has the team on the field, 
They're going to do what they need to do to win. You can't stop a player. The manager can't say, hey, the next time there's a ground ball, don't be so aggressive. No, you can't do that. So I don't think the manager part is as big as a player. Yeah, the only thing my opinion. I, the only thing I can think of is you leave a guy in longer yeah. because you think that you have a better chance of winning this game and next game be damned because you got five G's on it, or you know you pinch hit a guy where you think you know. Or what just, if I what if I blow through my bullpen uh, uh, on purpose right. accidentally in in the first game of a four game set when I know there's a double header coming up in a couple of days and I need these guys fresh. Like I think like it's it's an interesting point you bring up. I just think a manager can affect way more than can maybe we're giving him credit for. But do you would never see Pete Rose when he was managing make that kind of mistake. And there's another thing about athletes. <clears throat> Popovich literally we're gonna go to basketball for a second. Yep. Playing against Miami, I think it was Christmas, he he sat his stars. Yeah. He got fined for sitting the stars. And he was like, wait, I have to prolong the time for the playoffs. Now, was he betting on the game? No. <laughs> he was being strategic and he was being a great coach. So now I know nothing. If you get up and you can pitch and you're in that, bu- in that uh, ball pin, all those guys can pitch. You don't get called up. You don't get that big check. You don't drive that Ferrari with the blonde unless you can pitch. <laughs> so everybody in that bullpen can play. Listen, we're going to do a, a Las Vegas Summer League 101 later on in the show. DJ Bennett's going to drop by. Is it a good or bad idea that the NBA has, the, has Vegas as the center of attention in the summer? <laughs> Put a whole bunch of thoroughbreds in, in Vegas? Let me think about that. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I put it this way. It was the best place to put. Daytime, they're not going out. It's too hot. Uh, even though the pools are great, brothers don't go out in the sun when it's too hot. So uh, that's one. Two. There's enough rooms. There's enough room to get lost, meaning you can go restaurants all different places. You can be entertained. I think Las Vegas is the greatest place. I think they should have an NBA team. That would make it even better. Then you have to worry about players gambling. Yeah. They, yeah. yeah let's get to that. We're circling back now. Yeah, yeah. Let's get to that. <laughs> what would a yeah. 21-year-old John <laughs> Sally have gotten up to in Vegas during summer league? Oh, a 21-year-old John Sally was there. An 18-year-old John <laughs> Sally was there, too. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you, I just remember, man, I was, I was 17 years old or 18 years old. It was Africa hot, so I didn't go outside. Uh, the only places we can go was circus, circus. Now, if you're 21 and you can get to hang out, if you know your, your job is up for you, you do your work and then you do your play. Mm. Um, well put. Yes, sir. I got out of that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. You, That's my it. friend, are slick. <laughs> Fred Astaire over there. Um, <laughs> I got a membership card to Crazy Horse, too, just to let you know. <laughs> Scarlet is coming. Don't know what you're talking about. What's he talking about? I don't know either. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, yeah, me either. <laughs> I think it was the horse races. The, uh, b- b- before we let you go, John, I don't get to do this a lot, but I know uh, you're heading to uh, the ESPYs this evening. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you wearing? Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. I get my suits made from this guy uh, in, Ita- in Italy called Di Stefano. It's a cream. I got a pink shirt on just to throw the colors off. Right. And uh, I couldn't think of anything else. But this is the first <laughs> time I'm going to ESPYs because I used to work for the other guys. And uh, they're finally letting me get in. Uh, it's about damn my time, time, John Sally. It's there a, you go. It's about damn time. That's what I say. <laughs> and uh, about damn I'm pretty time. soon working with you guys. I'm going to learn how to say out. I'm going to learn how to say mum. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to say bum. And I'm going to say dumb. I'm going to get it all. I'm going to be Canadian in the next two weeks. It's going to be a two-way street, John. Yeah. It's going to be a two-way street. We're yeah. going to be able to teach each other. It's crazy. It's going to be fun, eh? <laughs> See, I'm almost there. <laughs> there it is. There, there it is. Give us a little of that. Uh, John, Come always on. a pleasure catching up with you. Thanks for doing this. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in town soon. You come in and check out the studio. Yes, fingers. There it is. Uh, that's peace out in a very uh, interesting way that I hadn't heard before. So you know what? When off. he said fingers, didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs>